Hey all, I've got this killer workstation set up to update all of these old Ape Maxis. But I'm going to have to tear it all apart because I need to show you how to do it. I have to put myself in an uncomfortable position on the floor to show you how to do it so you better appreciate it. Here's what's going on. This is one of the new Ape Maxis. It's super bright. It's got all kinds of cool color options on it for you to enjoy. It's hex LED. And here's what's going on. If you're using something like the old Ape Maxis and the new ones together, as you can see, there's a color difference. I've got the dimness or the dimmer turned way down. Here's it turned up. So it's it's all quite bright, okay? I've got it turned down so you can kind of see it. If I thumb through the colors on the remote, okay, they don't match up. You see that? There are a lot more color options on the new Maxi 2.0 than there were on the old 1.0. So this is a bummer, okay? But here, check this out. I'm going to bring this all the way back. I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to turn this one on that I have updated. The colors are pretty darn similar. Let me show you. They're going to make more sense at an event. Are they exact? No, but they're close, which means that your old maxis are still very relevant. Look at all of those new colors that you get on the maxi. You can go all the way to the end here, like you could on the old remote, and do kind of the cool color fade thing, and it all matches up. That's not going to happen unless you update your old Maxis to the new firmware. I'm going to do this with this Ape Connect unit. It comes in the tour pack with the new Maxis. I don't know if the WF's the same. I have no idea. I'm not a very technical guy when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm just kind of stumbling through this and doing my best. So I'm going to rearrange everything and try to show you guys best I can how I've updated these lights to work with these lights. Alright, this is going to be quick and dirty. I'm going to show you this video now because I can usually retain the information long enough to do a video for you. So I've got the Ape Connect on. I'm going to open the app. Notice when I do that, the Bluetooth will kick in on the Connect, which it just has. Now the first thing I need to do is go to, let's see here, more, set up lights. Okay? So I'm going to hit this. I'm going to turn this first light on. It's going to see it right away. Group 1. I don't know, I'll probably assign it a DMX channel or something. But I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. And then Apply and Set Up Next Device. Okay. And we can turn that off. That's awful bright. We'll turn on the next one. Seize it. We will hit Apply then apply and set up next device. We can turn that one off now. All we're doing is telling this app that these fixtures are on. Apply. Apply and set up next device. Okay. I think we got it. We can turn all this off now. Now I'm going to go back I'm going to go to update lights. This is where we're going to make them act like the new 8 Maxi 2.0s. So the colors will match and everything else. Pretty close to it anyway. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and hit the setup light button up here. And I'm going to press and hold each one of these until they start flashing. See that? It's flashing. Press and hold. 
the power button until it flashes like that. Press and hold the power button until it flashes. So everything's flashing, right? Even that one. So now I'm going to go ahead and go, well, let's see here. How does that work? Go back here. Yeah, update lights. Here we go. I gotta select what group I want to update. I want to update the maxis. Push that right there. Push this button here. Start update. And it updates the lights. Now how well you can see my tablet, but it's showing the progress in pink on the line there. In just a second, they should all be updated. And they are updated. You're done. It's, it's done. So, just to show you that it all works, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Let's get it out of our way. We're going to use the remote today. I'll even turn this off. We don't need this anymore. Turn that sucker off. Now I'm going to turn all of these lights on. Yes, they will be bright. Okay? They'll be very bright in the camera, I'm sure. Okay, now, let's flip through the colors on the remote. And we'll, we'll bring the dimness down here, so maybe you can see it a little better. All right? Let's flip through colors. That's going to make a lot more sense than what we were seeing before. So tomorrow night, a friend of mine is doing his last gig of the year, and the plan is to bring both the new lights and the old lights to the event. So we'll have 12 maxis. The old ones will be updated. The new ones, of course, are new. And we'll check it out and see how they work. Let me go to the color fades on the remote. As you can see, it all makes sense. Your color mixing is much better with the hex LED. It's brighter as well. Much brighter. But they all kind of make sense together. And your old maxis are not useless. You can absolutely use them with the new maxis. All you got to do is update them. Quick and dirty video. I hope it helps somebody. I do have another video that's a little more detailed. I'm using the old W app. Same kind of thing applies as far as assigning the lights to the app and updating and all that. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's about three years old, but I actually had to watch the video to figure out how to, you know, assign these and program them. Same general procedure, just different on the app. That's all. So anyway, I hope this video helped somebody. We'll see you soon. And I got more videos to come, of course, on the 2.0s. And maybe we'll even update some more fixtures. Practice and enjoy.